So, I don't know. Let me see. Um, hi. hi. What are you doing here? Um, <laughs> um, I'm part of a... Um, I'm what's, a what's, what's your name for? My name's Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Uh, I'm a member of a political organization, um, and a I'm a leader in that political organization. You're, being, you're coach right here. You've got a coach <laughs> right here. That's good. Um, what's a political organization? Uh, indivisible. And so why are you part of that? Because I'm committed to, well, I'm committed to racial justice organizing. And when did you get committed to racial justice organizing? In high school. What happened in high school? <laughs> I started, I was with Amnesty International and I started paying attention to. Wait, wait, wait. Now, where was this? Just located? I was in New Hampshire. Okay. What town? Chester. Okay. Rural, pretty rural. New Hampshire. And this is a public high school? Semi private. Semi private. 99% <laughs> white. Okay. I think it was. Yeah, yeah. and? Um, I started reading articles about the women in Juarez and Chihuahua being murdered. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Mm hmm. Um, I was also at the same time on Howard Dean's campaign as like a 17-year-old doing phone banking, and I, there was a lot going on in my well, life. Maybe, maybe that's where we met. <laughs> no. <It might> <laughs> no. I don't think so, but yeah, yeah. Um, I, I just started becoming aware of the great injustice. Um, well, let, let me understand. Uh, so you grew up in Chester or where? I grew up in Chester. And what did your folks do? My mom is a high school teacher, and my dad works in sales. In sales. Mm -hmm. And you went to public elementary school or private school or what kind of school? Public. And so where did you get this concern about the women in Juarez, or wh where did that come from? Um, I mean, if I were to boil it down and look at like the very beginning, yeah. um, I have my uncle is black, and I have two cousins who are black, and they this also. This is on your mother's side, your father's my side. My mother's side. Yeah. My um, my aunt married a black man. Uh huh. Um, and they. How did you How did you first hear about that or learn of that? Uh, he. I was very young, and t they started dating. Yeah. Um, and. Was I, there commentary on that around the house? No, not in a negative way. Yeah. Um, no, he just was a a man that my aunt was dating, and I loved him. He was a basketball player, so I thought he was really cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How old were you at the time? I was probably five, six. All right. Very young. Yeah, so then what happened? Um, I, I mean, life was normal. I just loved them. They're my family. Yeah. As I got older and started becoming aware of things, How they also... You, I'm sorry, go ahead. They also lived in pretty rural New Hampshire. Um, uh, so I started becoming aware of racism that they, my how, cousins. How did were. you become aware? Um, just. Um, what happened? I mean, were there was there particular instances or moments where somebody said something or? I have an uncle who is a, who is racist. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Um, so what happened? He him? just always treated them differently. You remember the first time you observed that and saw what was happening? Yeah, actually. Um, well, what was it? I was at my aunt's house, and my cousins were over visiting, and my uncle was yelling at, at my cousin Jalen, and he never yelled at anyone. Like, he adored me and my sister, yeah. and would never have yelled at me. And, and Jalen wasn't doing anything either, so it, it was just the first moment where I was like, this isn't right. This, it felt very, it just felt wrong. And how did you make sense of that? Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. And not until, I mean, I talked to my family members and my, my immediate family, family and members about it later. What did they say about it? As I was older. When you talked about it with family members? Um, I mean, my immediate family agrees with me. <laughs> but, but I mean, so you said, why was he shouting at your uncle? And they said, or I don't know, I'm just asking. Yeah, I mean, I never talked about it with anyone till later. And oh, really? Yeah. Um, so it just stuck with you as, what, a moment of what? Unfairness, injustice. Because mm. you loved your uncle. Yeah, I, I loved my cousin. I love my yeah, cousins. Yeah, your cousins, yeah. Yeah. And so then what happened next? Then how did you begin to act on this? Um, I mean, I didn't do anything when I was young. Right. Um, so when's the first time you started doing something? High school. What was it? 
Um, and Amnesty International. And why was, Amnesty? Uh, I mean, it was 2000 is when I started high school, so the Iraq War was happening. There was a, a lot going on. Um, I, I was committed to pacifism, and it, that, when, that when was. When did you get committed to pacifism? <laughs> here, where'd that where'd that come on the picture? Uh, the, the, the Iraq War, yeah. It was like George W. Bush and and all of that. But how did you? So how did you find your way from that first experience you described, which is a very important experience, it sounds like, mm -hmm. to then what seems like a much broader commitment to a broader set of concerns. I'm just curious how that... No, I know. It's, I, I don't even know how to link the thing. I mean, just... I mean, I'm, I'm a upper-middle-class, privileged white woman. Yeah, but and so what does that explain about why you acted? Because it just seemed unfair that I could live in a world in a certain way and that other people couldn't live in the same world. Yeah, but wh where does that idea come from? <laughs> Really, there's a whole lot of people in this country that don't believe that for a minute. Uh, I, oh, I'm so what totally about you? So, 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 yeah, I bet you are. So, 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 where do you get that idea? I mean, your experience is real, but where do you get that idea? I mean, my parents had a big role in it. I, Were you raised in a faith tradition, or I was. I was raised Episcopalian. Yeah. Um, I mean, was it active? Was it real for you? It was. Yeah, yeah. I had a I had a pastor who I, a reverend, whom I really connected with. And what was his name? Or? Her name was Miriam. Yeah. Yeah. And you had conversations with her? Yeah. Yeah. I had confirmation oh. class. and oh, So you were confirmed. You went through the whole... I did. Yeah. yeah. Youth yeah. group, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that stuff certainly has some meaning. Mm -hmm. And so your first activism, though, was... My first actual activism, I guess it depends what you call activism, but I gathering signatures probably for, for the women in Juarez. That was the first. I remember I was in a... And that my, was in high school. Was in, yeah, I like stood up on a table in my cafeteria and was like, I'm gathering signatures. And people just looked at me like I was this big weirdo. And, yeah, and so where did you get the courage to do that? Um, Googling. I don't know. I was just like so angry. Yeah. I was, just, I was outraged. I yeah, was you so, were outraged? I was outraged. Yeah. And so... And you, and you thought you had to do something? I did, yeah, I did. I felt like I had to do something. Well, that set you on a path, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Ashley. <laughs>